And so we're going to get into a situation, I believe it's March 5th, 1770, you want to put that down, um, where we have a group of colonists, and they're all together, and they're watching some British soldiers, and so they decide to just kind of taunt them, make fun of them, and torment them. And so they begin to throw snowballs at the British soldiers. Now, they're throwing what at the British soldiers? Snowballs. They are throwing snowballs at the British soldiers. And so it's like, well, you know, okay. And then they decide to, you know, let's, let's get a little bit more into our snowballs. And so they begin to pack their snowballs with oyster shells and chunks of ice. Now, how many of you like to be hit by a snowball, period? I don't like to, I don't like snowball fights because someone always aims for my face. They always hit me in the face. They're always accurate. And then I'm just kind of like this with my contacts, okay? And so I don't really like that. But can you imagine being hit with a snowball that has oyster shells and chunks of ice in it? Can you just feel the sting of it wherever it hits you? Yes? Nod your heads at me like you're alive. Yes, we can feel the sting of the snowballs. Well, what is going to happen, this is kind of the way the story is told, is that the soldiers panicked and fired into the crowd. Now, let's talk about it first. This is your most well-trained army in the entire world. Do you think the soldiers panicked? Do you think something else could have happened? Possibly. But they panicked and they fired into the crowd and they killed five people, and you need to highlight, including Crispus Attucks. He was an African-American sailor who was active in the Sons of Liberty. Okay, so we did have African-Americans that were in the colonies that were not um, under slavery, and some of them were very patriotic, and they were members of the Sons of Liberty, and Crispus Attucks was one of them that was killed. I also want you to add to your notes, there are some historians that say five people were killed, and some say four. Okay, I've read both, I've read both accounts. And so what we're going to do, they're going to call this a massacre. Now, how many people were killed? Five. Five. But when you call something a massacre, does it make you think a lot more? Yes. Yeah. Okay, there's a reason why they called it a massacre, so we're going to kind of get into some pictures and propaganda now. Okay, we're going we're gonna to kind of analyze a couple of pictures, or actually several pictures. Um, we've got four pictures here. We're going to kind of look at them one by one. But I want you to understand that you have people that have different depictions, different ideas about what happened. Okay? So here we have a picture. It says the, the byline, Christmas Addicts, the first martyr of the American Revolution. Uh, March 5th, 1770. And so here we have Crispus Attucks as he's lying there and he's dying. And it, sa and it shows the British soldiers. They're lined up. They're in formation. And look, we have a colonist that's going, stop. Do you think this happened like that? This is kind of what we call propaganda. So you're kind of getting a uh, part of the story that's kind of the person that's putting this out do they want you to be angry at the British soldiers? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they do. So here we have another one of the Boston Massacre. Look, we have someone lying on the ground. You have a colonist. It's like he's grabbing, you know, uh, the bayonet of the soldier here saying, Stop. Do you think this happened? But if this is what you see in the newspaper and this is all you see in the newspaper, would you believe it? Yes, you would. Okay, so here we have something. This actually shows that it's snowy, okay? And this is, you know, you got the soldiers lined up. And here you have them. It looks like almost point blank range. And here they are killing the colonists. Do you think this is true? But if this is all you saw in your hometown newspaper, would you believe it? Yes. This is the one that is the most famous painting here. It is an engraving by Paul Revere. Okay? So here we have, I mean, it is 
is just like, look at the different things. Here we have the soldiers lined up. It looks like we have the captain here, um, and he is telling them, fire, like it was all planned, right? I love the little dog. How many of you notice the little dog? Does that get sympathy? Yes, that would get sympathy for me. I'm a dog lover. And look, here we have them fire. Look at the, the colonists. They're just like, stop, no. And it looks like they're all innocent. Do you see any snowballs or anything being thrown at the, colon, at the uh, soldiers? So is this picture realistic? This is the picture that went out all over the colonies. Who in here was my printer? Did I have a printer in here? So this is what you would have printed in your newspaper. And everybody in town got a newspaper, and so they're all reading it, and they're seeing this engraving, and they're just, like, horrified at what they see. So do you think everyone was hating the British soldiers, thinking they were basically monsters? This is propaganda, okay? Now, to be fair, what were the colonists throwing? Snowballs, is that any reason to shoot them? No. no, but do you think it happened in this way? So you always don't get all the full story from the media, do you? Sometimes they slant it toward what they want it to be. Now look at this one. Is this one, hey, I see a snowball or two here. Does this one look a little more realistic about what could have happened? Yeah. Sure. Is this one the one that they put throughout the colonies, this picture? No, it's not. It's not the picture they put through the colonies. Here's another one. Point blank range, yet again, taken kind of from Paul Revere's engraving. And, and here they are, you know, just it looks like they're still being fired upon. Like this one's going to be shot in the back. So John Adams very wise man is going to step up and he's going to say I will defend those British soldiers. Don't you know his cousin Samuel's going, why would you defend those British soldiers? Look at what they done. Hey, are you crazy man? This is what you guys in your future all need to remember. Sometimes we only see what's in front of us and we make all of our judgments on what's in front of us. But we need to be able to look and see around the corner at what could be coming. Do you understand what I'm saying here? John Adams said, I'm going to defend them because they need a good lawyer. And see, when we give them a good lawyer and we allow them to have a fair trial, the rest of the world is going to look at the colonies and say, you know, the colonies, they're doing the right thing. Look at what they're doing. Look at how they're giving these soldiers a fair trial. And it's going to make the colonies look good, and it's going to make Britain look what? Bad. Look bad. Because John Adams could see that on down the line, we might get into a war, and we were going to need allies, and we needed to look good and fair in front of the rest of the world so other people would side with us. Was this wise? Yeah. Yes, it was. And so the colonists were unaware because they had no modern technology. I mean, we know if something happens right now in China, do you know we would know it immediately? If something happened in Britain, we would know it immediately. Do you understand how quick we get information? It's information overload, right? Back then, you didn't have a telephone, you didn't have a TV, you didn't have radio, you didn't have telegraph, you didn't have anything. And so the colonists are unaware that on the day of the Boston Massacre, the Townsend Acts had been repealed. Had they had modern technology, they would have been like, Ooh, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate! Ooh, we were successful! Woo, our protests worked! But instead, they're still mad because they have no idea that it had been repealed. So had they had modern technology, would the Boston Massacre have ever occurred? No, they would have been dancing in the streets. Do I have any questions or comments?